Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iOS 26 Beta 1 on iPhone 14 Pro. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. Let's get right into today's video and talk about what's new on iOS 26. Actually, I'm pretty sure people watching this video are already aware about what all new features are there on iOS 26. So I'm not going to waste the precious time that you guys have invested on me. So let's get straight to the point and talk about my real life experience and some new features and changes which are here on iOS 26 on iPhone 14 Pro. There are still a lot of features and changes which are yet to come on iPhone 14 Pro, but uh, the sad part about iPhone 14 Pro is that it is not getting any Apple intelligence features. If you guys were not aware about it, iOS 26 won't bring any AI features to iPhone 14 Pro series. It will be exclusive for iPhone 15 Pro and above, which includes iPhone 15 Pro itself, iPhone 16 series, 16 Pro, and that's it. Anyways, getting back to the topic, how has been my experience using the iPhone 14 Pro on iOS 26 beta as of now? It's been just a day that I have been using this firmware on my device, not a long time. I will be coming up with my full review in which I will talk about things in detail. This is my first impressions. I have been having pretty good experience till now. I haven't encountered any major bugs or any issues as such. There are normal bugs and all which are here, which is very normal for being a beta. Like whenever I'm switching from dark mode to light mode, it sometimes glitches out for a second and things like the animation seems a bit laggy once in a while. And if you do intensive editing and things like that, for a long period of time it will eventually get more warmer compared to earlier again it is the beta one so i won't really complain about it as such because it is normal it is supposed to be like that that is why it is a beta version there are a lot of new things like the whole theme of the phone is changed it has clear icons it has a lot of things new in the ui element itself the control center is refreshed and the settings itself is refreshed to a very big extent we also now have overhaul of battery section it shows the battery in much better way and uh, basically much easier way it also shows you how much time it will take for your device to get charged up to 80 percent and 100 percent which in my opinion is the most practical and the best feature overall on the ios 26 beta one on my iphone 14 pro or actually any device because this is genuinely useful do let me know down in comments below what are your thoughts about this feature but personally i just love it it is a new preview app as well it works the same way preview works on math but i don't see myself or anyone using this app as such i think it could have been integrated somewhere in files app only but yeah i don't think so i will use it as such do let me know down in comments below what are your thoughts about it and talking about the most important factor here which is the battery life how has been the battery life it as i said it's just been a day i am using my device currently it's been over one day but less than two days and in this particular time i have used my device for yeah a, a lot of time like over eight hours but uh, i had to charge my device at the end of the day and my day was pretty normal and uh, if i compare it to ios 18.5 I do notice a very big amount of downgrade in terms of battery life. I'm getting around 30 minutes less, 30 to 35 minutes less of screen on time compared to earlier, which is uh, uh, definitely very noticeable. Like if I had to charge my iPhone at 10 o'clock in the night, I am charging it at 9 or 9.30, before 9.30 for sure. And this is when I am on Wi-Fi all the time because I'm not going out anywhere right now. I'm just being home all the time. So I am on Wi-Fi. I'm pretty sure it's going to be even worse and I just can't end my day on a single charge for sure if I have the cellular data on. But I won't really complain much about it because uh, iOS 26 is right now in its very, very early stage. It is just the first beta so it's definitely gonna get much better and get more features 
as we proceed towards a beta 2 beta 3 and uh, slowly in september when we will get the public version well, that's pretty much it for my first impressions and review my full review of ios 26 beta 1 will be coming up really really soon in about three to four days at max before apple releases ios 26 beta 2 i will be dropping my full review so make sure to turn on notification and subscribe to this channel for more